In this video, I want to give you my main tip post update. Use the lightning spell. We've had a couple of days to test things out, and the lightning can be used in a variety of ways across a variety of town hall levels. So I'm going to explain its use to you, give you a couple of examples so that you can take advantage of this because it really sets up a couple of strategies incredibly well. So without further ado, let's get into it. Welcome back to the channel then guys, I'm your host Judo Sloth. I want to start off by actually upgrading my lightning spell to level 9. Mine is only level 7 but it can now go to level 9 at Town Hall 13, however it's just a single spell slot and this is really where the big change comes in and why I want to teach you guys about it. I like to bring educational but entertaining Clash of Clans videos so if that's what you want to see be sure to subscribe and turn on the notification bell. Now also be sure to let me know down in the comments what type of videos you would like to see following the update. I will be trying to bring you guys what you actually want, but before we go ahead and get into this one, I wanted to purchase the Clockwork Battle Pack. I'm a bit of a sucker for anything exclusive in game, so I love the Town Hall skins. My favourite part is the fact that we have the Clockwork Queen here on the outside. I just think that's pretty neat, and I'm excited to see where they go with things. If you do want to support me in game before making any any purchases you can use code judo but let's go ahead and get this upgrade the lightning spell and then tell you everything you need to know okay there we go at least I know I can be assured I have the exclusive items I like to get all of them I did actually purchase all of the packs on one of my um, other accounts but on my main account I don't really think I need it I don't know, I just don't like to just purchase loot all of the time. However, let's go ahead and upgrade that lightning spell. So as you can see, a single housing space now. That is massive. Getting it upgraded and we can use the book of spells. So that goes ahead and gets that going. I might as well use the hammer of spells actually because it's not like I'm going to need it anytime soon and I like to just gradually stack up on the hammers. So let's go ahead and do that. We now have our maximum level lightning spell. This is where it gets interesting then because as soon as the update dropped we had the friendly challenge feature where you can just friendly challenge anything now. People very quickly realized that multiple lightning spells in the center of the base can get you huge value and one of the main uses is to take down the clan castle if you didn't realize when the clan castle is destroyed the troops will not come out of it you've already destroyed the clan castle the troops are gone however if you can take out some other buildings alongside it you can get good value so this is my base it's old meta now it's not like i'm worried about my base getting burnt kevin is able to take out the clan castle but also look what's next to it, Scattershot, the Eagle Artillery, the enemy Archer Queen, wait until she's standing where you're going to deploy the lightning spells, and the Sweeper. Amazing value, let's take a close look as seven lightning spells come in, do majority of the damage, and then you just need an Earthquake spell to finish things off. Earthquake spells at maximum level get you 25% damage, so you actually have a greater benefit from using it, but the beauty is you can do a little bit of damage onto surrounding buildings as well, which you can't always do with the lightning. Now, once you've taken them down, not only have you got huge value, like I said, try and make sure the queen's standing there, but you've actually got really good pathing in that the center of the base is down, and that is where you can then maybe sui the town hall and then lalo the rest. It really works well because you've got the central defenses down. You don't have to worry about pathing your troops into the middle. Whereas if you use the lightning on the perimeter of the base it's not as effective because you can just send troops into that area such as the sui heroes here but if you can use the lightning to take down multiple key defenses and it's in the center it's definitely something you should be considering so we've talked about the lightning spells being used for big defenses the scattershot eagle clan castle what about the air sweepers 
Any of you air attackers will know how dangerous the sweepers are at just pushing your troops back and allowing the regular defences to do damage. But did you know that you now only need two lightning spells to take it out, which is two spell slots? And we do commonly see bases with the air sweepers together in the centre. So if that's the case, not only can you help to create that pathing we've talked about by taking out the core, you're also taking out the sweepers. That allows an electron to come in, such as your battle blimp, in this case getting huge value, and then you can pick around the base with dragons from there. And it might be that you can then use your heroes, the king and queen, to thin that path even further, help to take out any air defense on the outside of the base, and allow the dragons through, such as in this example, again, this was part of the ESL Meistershaft that I streamed on Twitch, and it was beautiful to see how Beezers took the dragons into the base, and from there, they just moved around. We had the king and queen picking off air defense, and because the two sweepers in the center were down, we knew the dragons would just slowly move around the base, and in the end, it was such an overwhelming attack with the dragons that this is why I really think the lightning spells are something you should be looking at and something that coupling with the dragons or lava loon could very much be coming into the meta post update another point to add real quick if you are trying to take the clan castle which is normally eight spells in terms of the seven lightning and the earthquake if you're going to be opening up part of the base you can use the four earthquake spells coupled with five lightning spells to get the clan castle obviously you'd want to try and get some defenses around it in that case the two expos but it's just one extra thing to think about. You could add the spells to get the clan castle alongside the earthquake. What about if you are a lower level? Town Hall 8 and above, the lightning and dragons is a fantastic method. Previously, we would use the Zap Quake, but now you can use three lightning spells to take down an air defense. Now, I have a nice little image here on the screen, which was created by a member of the community, posted on Reddit, but it shows for a max level air defense at any given Town Hall level, how many lightning spells you need, which are maxed also at that Town Hall level. So for Town Hall 10, it is three lightning spells. That takes out one air defense. You might then be able to use your queen as in this attack to get a second air defense which then just leaves two other air defense now in terms of analyzing which one you want to take down always take the most central one the hardest one to get to in this case it actually gets the sweeper as well which means for the dragons to then push in towards the final air defense it is very very easy they're not getting pushed back by a sweeper and as we zoom out one air defense against all of the dragons. If you have a base at Town Hall 10 that has multi-target infernos, you can get your heroes to one air defense, zap two of the others, and send your dragons in towards the final one. Even if you can't get your heroes to a third air defense, you should be pretty good with two air defenses, so long as you can get the dragons to them. This is applicable at any Town Hall level. I'm showing you Town Hall 10 in that of the replay, but if you're a Town Hall 8, do the same thing. Use the lightning on the air defense. Take down the most difficult one with the lightning because then it's easier for your dragons to push into the remaining ones. And because it works across a variety of levels, it's why I wanted to ensure you knew about the lightning spell and the dragons. Honestly, the lightning spell I'm sure you're starting to appreciate is definitely something you can take advantage of. So we've talked about lightning to take down the air defense. We talked about using the lightning to take down some key defenses, maybe even the clan castle, if you're a higher level. But still, even at Town Hall 10, you can use multiple lightning to take down a significant area of the base, as long as it's going to help with pathing. As soon as that queen gets into the area, down come six lightning spells, take out a sweeper and a multi, and not only does that mean the multi-inferno is down, but it also, again, carves this area of the base very nicely for the Lalo to be controlled down through the base. So if you can get some key defenses, create that pathing, even at lower level it can work really well, especially if you've got air defense at the side of the base 
old meta, if you will, not quite caught up with the air attacks, which are vastly coming into the game because of the lightning spells. Try and take advantage of it. It's why I wanted to bring you this video. Finally, I want to leave you with this. It is again a Town Hall 10, but check it out. If you can have the air defense relatively close together, you can take multiple of them. However, think about placing the lightning much as you would with a freeze spell in between defenses. It means you might be able to take out multiple point defense. And in this case, all of the air defense, a couple of archer towers, all down thanks to nine lightning spells absolutely insane value it means that dragons can steamroll the rest of the base i might actually bring a full town hall 10 video for this because it is so strong but think about using the lightnings similar to the freeze spells in that of hitting multiple defenses even if you can't take the defense out you can get some damage onto it to help your troops through now, I did a video explaining the brand new Headhunter Troop when that was released. I'm going to link it on your screen here alongside the subscribe button. You might want to check that one out if you have access to it. I'd highly recommend it. But if not, guys, I will see you back here again in the next video.